it's an honor for us that the league actually back in 99 when Walter Pats chose to attach his name to what's become one of the biggest awards in the NFL. So this year's nominee for the Bears, he's an unbelievable player on the football field, but I truly believe that his true legacy is what he's doing off the field. So it's an honor for us to be able to congratulate Jalen Johnson on being this year's Bears nominee for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Ooh, I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you, first of all, for the nominee. Very blessed. And I feel like for me and my community, I've seen a lot of people struggle. And I know what it's what it's like to kind of be in that, to see it, to not have some help, to not have hope. I put a lot of my work in back home where I'm from, where my people are from, where my daughter lives. I want to keep continuing to bless those around me and hope we can inspire each other to keep blessing those around us. Team on me, team on three, one, two, three. Team. First off, congratulations. Appreciate you. Being the Chicago Bears, Walter Payton Man of the Year exactly. nominee. To me, this award, is, it has really nothing to do with football. It's mm -hmm. who you are as a man, as a person, off the field. Right. And I know you got two charities mm -hmm. that you supporting right now. Yes, sir. I had to call somebody to pronounce his brother's <laughs> right. name. Is it Kevion? Yeah. Tell me about that charity. <sighs> well, of course, how it started, I'll just go back to really how it started, just really like, being so close growing up together with him, mm -hmm. we always had a group. It was probably a group of like six of us. Mm -hmm. We were always close growing up. 2021 last year during camp, August 8th, uh, I got a phone call from one of my other partners that we were all close with. Um, and he just called me and was like, hey man. And I kind of heard it in the voice. I'm like, man, I know somebody you gone. And he was just like, man, Kev got shot and killed. And I was like, man, what? And then he was just like, yeah, bro, like, he, he gone. I'm like, he gone for real? He, like, battling. He's like, nah, they already pronounced him dead. So I'm just like, dang, so tragic. No no sleep. So then kind of I was thinking. So afterwards, I'm just like, what can I do to keep his name alive? Mm -hmm. So we had pretty much built this team of family, friends, my homeboys, and everybody. We all on it. We putting things together. And we ended up donating some money to a local facility that kind of like does different things for different people in the community. Right. And then we hosted our first Christmas event last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just started end up donating to like the Black Student Union. We sponsored a football camp at our high school. So really we just keep building that up each year, making things bigger, making things more consistent back in Cali. So when I read this one, the next charitable foundation that you have, this one kind of caught me off guard, Rare Breed Sports. Yes, sir. I just wanted to continue to help, but kind of find a different way to help. But I know for me, like when like my parents were struggling, money was tight in a certain situation. I know I was playing travel basketball, going from That's California expensive. to New York, to Texas, to New Orleans. So I knew what it was. And then my uncle, he's the one who took me under his wing. Like, hey, like don't worry about all the other stuff. Like, I got you. He seemed like that struggling scene, how it made me feel kind of dealing with the basketball and then my family and all these different things. So. It was one of those things where like, okay, like, man, let's help the kids who don't have those opportunities or it's don't want to. Yeah, yeah, like, you don't it can, even have it to can say add up. Like, it's just, it's just, it's yeah, so much. Just the less fortunate. AU basketball, and I mean, there's a, oh, so some, a, a, few, yeah. a few of her teammates were, you know, single parent home, right. or low income, whatever, right. and, you know, they're they're going to Kentucky and, mm -hmm. <laughs> Big you know, out there too. all these different places, yeah. and they got hotel rooms, and you got to feed Ooh. them, and it's like, oh, my it man, what am I going to wallet at? <laughs> so it adds up. I commend you on that. As a Chicago Bear, this honor, of course, has great meaning to me, and it's pretty sweet bringing Walter back home. Having won this award, I know what it meant to me mm -hmm. in that day, and I don't know if you've ever seen my YouTube video of me giving my speech. Yeah. I was like, Color purple Sealy cried. I was like the end of the movie. <laughs> uh -huh. Like I couldn't even talk. I was right. I was lip quivering, snot. I mean, I'm just Viola Davis snot like in oh, fences. No, stop, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just just bad. Yo, but I was Viola so Davis. I was so thankful. Right. And shocked. And 13 years in. It was my greatest, my greatest accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So what would it mean for you to win this award? I mean, I definitely couldn't say I would or wouldn't have the Viola Davis tears. Um, but I feel like really for me, I give back for a purpose and I want my family, my friends, my community, my circle 
those everybody around me, I feel like have had a piece in who I am. So I feel like it would just be something that I want God, of course, number one, to get their credit to, and then everybody around me that's had a positive impact on me right. to also feel a part of that award as well. Why did you pick the number 33? I'm not gonna lie to you, Pina, I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> I, ain't want the, I ain't even want the number 33. I didn't know I even What'd you had want? It. What'd you want? Man, let me tell you, you know T-Man been here for a long time. Oh, yeah. And I was like, hey, like, what numbers are open or whatever? So he shot me a list of numbers. So I gave him a few numbers. And he was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do for you. I kid you not, two days later, I wake up, got a heck of notification. I'm like, what's going on on my Twitter? They put the jersey numbers out. So I'm like, okay, bam, like, what I get, what I get? 33 popped up. And 33 was never on my list. Right. So I'm just like, me and you just talked to everybody like he don't deserve a peanut number he don't deserve a peanut number i'm like man i don't even want this number. so i'm gonna say my like, family no. like my whole household was like why did he get your number like i don't play there no more y'all like it somebody gonna have to take yeah. it at some point in time like i don't that own was the my number. thing too i'm like i don't own the number plenty of people had it before me but i'm like why is it a big deal that i got it now people were bashing me some people i'm like hey man i didn't ask for this number too. i feel you i'm peanut that's Jalen. I'm yeah. the old 3-3. Three, three. That's the new school 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. And we What's wishing up? him all the best for winning the Walter Payton Manly Award. It's a wrap. There it is. Got him. <laughs>